open strategic autonomy. Until recently, these three words were merely a concept. Today, they're increasingly shaping discussions in the European Parliament. At its workshop, gathering policymakers and researchers, the panel for the future of science and technology focused on this strategy that could help the European Union reduce its dependency on external actors while remaining open to trade. Open strategic autonomy means that the EU is seeking to achieve uh, this ability to act according to its own interest in an international system characterised by open trade, multilateralism and uh, through partnerships with allies um, and, and other countries. To achieve this, the European Union must adopt a strategy based on anticipation. Establishing a truly EU-wide industrial policy requires a long-term vision. The international order, as we knew, is changing. Probably we are moving toward uh, different rules, not uh, unique rules or common rules for all the world. So we really uh, need to advance in this uh, autonomy, strategic autonomy, as other regions are doing in in order to keep our way of life. STOA is calling for careful planning and strategic autonomy as part of the EU's long-term objective of a green, social and technological transition.